All right, I have to say this is probably the most organized you'll ever see me get. Or baby number two, but like we're not there yet. trying to get out of bed. <laughs> going on our first trip. We're going on our first trip. Oh, she's coming closer. Hi. Hey. She knows when I have the camera up. She's already looking at it. Say, Daddy, wake up. Welcome to our first family trip vlog packing vlog well she's just staring at the camera i uh, haven't mentioned it anywhere but we are going to florida for a couple weeks well we don't know exactly how long we just booked one flight so we'll see how traveling with this one goes we're going for a little bit of personal a little bit of business see we're going to go look at some vacation property there it's been something we've been looking to do for a few years now and obviously we couldn't last year so we are finally going this year and it's gonna be very different because we have a baby Obviously, this year is going to look very different traveling with a now seven month old. I was going to say six month old and just traveling in general. Like I haven't been on a plane in feels like, I don't know, two years, maybe a year and a half. I don't even know anymore. So I thought I would do a little packing vlog to start things off and just kind of show you guys what we are bringing for traveling with a bebe. And yeah, a lot goes into packing when you have kids. <laughs> We're, we're realizing that usually like if it's just Matt and I going somewhere, we just pack like the day before and we just do carry-ons. But with a baby, there's just so much more to think about. So I'm going to be sharing like everything we're bringing as well as some tips and stuff for you guys. And I'm going to have a full blog post because I've already learned so much about traveling with a baby. Are you okay? What are you choking on? What are you choking on? Um, so hopefully our, our learnings can help you out because there's just so much that we didn't know. So yeah, we'll include some of that in this vlog. Anyways, I'm gonna get ready, drink my herbal coffee. I think we're gonna have a nice big smoothie for breakfast and I'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Hi, Sue. Hi. All right, tip number one, make extra breakfast for the next morning if you're gonna get up early. So I just made a double batch of her oatmeal with sweet potato and buckwheat. And then I'm gonna make us some extra smoothie as well so we can have tomorrow morning and breakfast is already done. Also that's some mango puree, so good. Every time I put it on, I just lick the spoon.
I made smoothies for today and then also smoothies for tomorrow. So I'm just gonna put lids on and that will be our breakfast in the morning, at least like a first breakfast. I'll probably have something once I go to the airport. So something just like making your breakfast ahead of time will save you so much time in the morning, especially if you're getting up really early. So I'm gonna put those in the fridge and we're gonna have these for breakfast. My next tip is to use these reusable bags. I love these. We sell them on the shop. I'll link them in the blog post, but basically I just took like my collagen, my protein powder. These are big tubs. I don't want to bring and I don't want to buy there because they're just like, you know, pricier items. So I have the collagen in here, the protein powder in here, and then I am bringing some bottles of my supplements, but I also just put um, a few of them in here. I have my prenatals, my iron, and my magnesium in here. And then I'm also bringing my fish oils, my probiotics, uh, vitamin C. This is just some propolis spray and vitamin D and then vitamin D for sagey. And those are like my supplements and vitamins that I'm bringing. All right, I'm back in bed. I'm actually about to do my meditation. I have my uh, essential oil I'm gonna use today, frankincense. This is like such a grounding oil. I really like it. And for me, anytime I'm traveling or just wanna stay nice and calm, meditation is just such an important practice for me, like every day, not even just when I'm like, changing up my routine for me traveling doesn't always come easy i love it but i also feel like it triggers um just anxious feelings for me sometimes and i want to make sure to just take some time for me today i have some filming and stuff i want to get done before we leave tomorrow morning so i just want to take a little bit to just ground myself center myself and just you know, have some calmness before the storm. And honestly, like there's no storm coming. We're, we're packed, we're ready to go. It's gonna be a really chill, great day. We're gonna sleep amazing and everything's gonna work out perfectly tomorrow. Positive vibes. But yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit of this uh, between my wrists, take some nice deep breaths, and then I'm gonna do a 30 minute meditation while Sage sleeps. Some mamas sleep while their baby sleeps, I meditate. Oh, I can't tell you how much that was needed. Oh, I'm so glad I made time for that. All right, I'm gonna go hop in the shower. I think Chloe's gonna be here soon. She's gonna help me. Some stuff we have to shoot uh, for a campaign before I go, as well as just um, taking some packing photos for a blog post I'm gonna do. Anyways, yeah, I just, oh, something so amazing about meditation. And it's not just doing it once, it's the, like the snowball effect of doing it every single day consistently. All right, we're in the bathroom and, oh, I forgot one thing. So what I like to do before I'm going away for a few days on a trip or anything, I like to exfoliate. So I already did my dry brushing before I went in the shower and then in the shower, I love this face scrub. I used it all over my face and like chest and neck area. And then I moisturized. So I'm loving, where is it? I am loving, this is a new body oil I'm trying from Luminance. It looks like I've used half the bottle because I have some packed away for the trip. I just put it in a like travel container. And I did a combination of this. It smells, this scent is honeysuckle and vanilla. And oh my gosh, guys, it smells so good. I'm just gonna use this as like my natural body perfume. It smells amazing. Their body lotion is so hydrating. I love this stuff. I have a coupon code for them. I get asked all the time. I'll put it on the screen here. You can get 15% off. And then I just did like my regular skincare routine, which if you guys want a full like updated skincare routine, let me know. Maybe I can just include it in a future vlog for you guys. Um, but that is what I do. So I'm just, my skin is nice and hydrated. I'm just gonna put on some deodorant. By the way, you guys are on a new little like tripod that suctions onto the mirror. And I feel like it's so much better than you balancing on random stuff and potentially falling and breaking. So I'm liking this setup. I'm gonna take some of my 
Pit Refresh. This is my natural, non-toxic deodorant from Beauty Met Skincare. I will have a link down below. I love it, and it's a natural deodorant that actually works. It works, trust me. I have still stinky postpartum smelling body odor and it works. <laughs> so the other thing I want to show you guys, I feel like this is gonna be the longest video. So I like to let my hair slightly air dry when I get out of the shower. And I have this new favorite hair tool. It's not even mine. We bought it for my mom for Mother's Day and this is the second time I'm stealing it because I'm gonna buy myself one, but I just haven't done that yet. It is this like hair dryer thing. This one is by Dry Bar. I will link it. It's a little bit more pricier than some of the other options. Like I know Revlon I think has one. But anyways, this thing, like it works so well that one of the girls on my team, like Kaylee, she asked me if I recently cut my hair when I did it. And I was like, no, it's this thing and I need it now. It makes your hair like silky smooth and it lasts for like a couple days. It's amazing and it looks like you got a professional blowout done. So I'm just gonna do it really quickly and that way I'll have like good hair for the next few days. And all I'm bringing is my hair curler and then I'm hoping that the places we stay at have a hair dryer or I'll just let my hair air dry naturally. This is kind of like a, a get ready with me <laughs> slash packing slash tips video, I guess. It's kind of loud. blowout <laughs> okay I don't know if I'm doing it justice but it feels so soft alright Matt is packing Matt is the the master packer. Oh. You're so good. You could do a whole video on it. You're just naturally good at it. Oh. The tip is don't bring too much shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's the key. That's the key. Don't bring too much. Looks good. I got him these packing cubes, so I'm taking credit for that. I got them in gray. I'll show you guys in a sec, but uh, I think Matt's packed. So I'm going to do my packing right here. Okay, my sister's here. She's with Sage while Matt and I get some stuff done to get ready for tomorrow. I just have all of Sage's stuff out right now. There's a lot of baby things you need to bring because it doesn't matter if you're going for like one day or two weeks, you need the same amount of stuff really. So maybe just a few, a few more clothes and diapers. Diapers you can really buy there. So after some research and planning and stuff, I feel like we have a good system. We've narrowed it down to what we're bringing and I'm definitely gonna share a bunch of tips in this video and then in the blog post that I think will help other future parents um, who are traveling with their little ones for the first time. So um, Matt actually saw this little hack here. I think it was on Jenna Kutcher's Instagram account. It's using a little sock. I don't know if this is a sock organizer, but one of these drawer organizers for baby clothes. It's awesome because once you get to your destination, you can essentially use this as a little dresser so everything's organized. If mommy or daddy are dressing baby, you know, both of you know like what outfits go together and you can just see like some of them, I just have a bunch of pants, uh, tank tops and things like that. So it's just really organized. I'll show a close up. But yeah, I got those really cheap on Amazon for a pack of two. And then I also got really cool stuff like this little traveler. Uh, cleaning brush and drying rack which is handy because you definitely want somewhere sanitized and clean and safe to store and wash your things you don't want to use if you're staying in an Airbnb you don't want to use their sponge to wash your baby items or your breast pump just in case because you don't know where it's been and it's a sponge it collects bacteria quickly I also have these packing cubes which I use for myself as well I, I bought like a whole pack of them for myself and Matt such a great deal also on Amazon. I will link them for you guys in the blog post. Yeah, I have a few other things. So I kind of have stuff laid out. Let me just organize it a little bit and then I'll show you guys where everything's at. And I, like I said, I feel like we did pretty good. I've really tried to narrow things down.
All right, I have to say this is probably the most organized you'll ever see me get. So over here we have the food section. I have a few more food items in her diaper bag, which I will show you guys what's in here as well. Um, I have some food containers. So when we get to the hotel and Airbnb, I have a spot to like store her food that I make. Um, we're gonna use these for breast milk. I'm just gonna pump and use the same milk on the same day instead of freezing it. I am bringing the immersion blender just so I can easily have an option to puree any food like meat and stuff if I need to. And then these are the packs that I got. Honestly, she doesn't eat a ton of these and I kind of only want to do like one a day and then have breakfast and dinner homemade. And then this is the cleaning set that we got. It's from OXO. I like that it's a drying rack and then also you have um, the brush cleaner and then this fits right inside and it's just like a little detail cleaner as well. And then this is the food set that we use for her. They're sold separately. I have these little utensils. They're very ergonomic for her to hold. Um, I have all these linked in my baby food resources blog post. I will link that down below. And it comes in a little travel pack here so it keeps it nice and clean. So that's all the food stuff. And then I am bringing my breast pump as well. Toys, I try to bring a variety of like teethers and stuff. I love these ones that strap on. Since she doesn't do pacifiers, these are great. So I just brought a variety of ones. Sophie, of course. She's definitely teething on and off, so she has lots of those. This is my new favorite toy. It's good for tummy time. It basically, it's called a beatbox. And it beatboxes when they touch it. So yeah, I just got that and it's so cute. And then she has this little VTech toy. She doesn't have a lot of things with like sound and stuff, but a couple of them help entertain her for sure. And then over here I have her sleep sack. This is her bath towel that I'm also gonna use as a beach towel if we need it, a knit blanket. And then over here I have her sunscreen, a baby diaper rash cream. This is just an all purpose thicker cream. And then her nail file. And I have a spray hand sanitizer, a disinfectant spray and then her vitamin D. I have some extra washcloths here. I got these little sunglasses I got for her. We'll see if they actually stay on. Otherwise, it'll be a cute photo. I'm only bringing two books because we read a book to her um, every nap and bedtime. So we'll just do two and we'll alternate. We honestly, we love this one. It's like more fun for us than her. It's like a little tongue twister. So diaper bag, which I'll show you guys what's in there. I'll quickly open this too to show you guys what's in that packing cube. This is her um, airport outfit, just keeping it really cash. Layering in case she gets hot, a bib in case she's drooling, socks, and little shoes to keep on the socks. <laughs> and then just a hat because she's gonna bring that, so we'll just have her wear it there. This is a little, it's like a vegan leather uh, mat. It's We got it for under the high chair, but it's also great just for like anywhere like that you need a clean spot for your little ones to play on and this could even be used for the beach or whatever. So I like that I can easily wipe it if I'm using this even at the airport. If I need her to do some tummy time, if like we're delayed or something, that's a great thing to have. Uh, this is a little nightlight thing. I forget how it works, but anyways, we have that. And then over here I have some wipes. We have some night diapers and then we're just bringing one pack of regular diapers and then we can always buy some there. I would not suggest bringing enough diapers for your entire trip because they're just so bulky and you can buy diapers anywhere. And then this is the little travel like sock organizer thing we're using. We also have things like, even though she doesn't suck on pacifiers, she likes to chew on them. So we do have some of those. We have these stacking cups that she's been really into lately. And yeah, we just have it organized. Her pajama sleep sets are all here. So nice and organized, the bottom and top. And it's just kind of like a little dresser for her. So it'll be really easy to keep her things organized because baby clothes, just so small, so tinsy. So you'll lose them. This is the carrier that we're bringing. We were gonna bring the Ergo Baby, but honestly, I feel like she's gonna be in the stroller for the most part during this trip, and she's just still a little small for it. So we're bringing this one. It's really lightweight, folds up nicely. And then in here, okay, so in here I have extra clothes. I have a lightweight swaddle. I have a jacket. I have some full bathing suit rash guards, like the ones that have SPF. Um, I have a pool hat and just some like like thicker clothes that didn't fit in there, like sweaters and onesies. And then honestly, these are reusable nursing pads. Since I never had to use them, I actually just been using them for the bath. 
as a little washcloth. So that's been a nice way to repurpose those. So I have those. And we're not bringing, for bath time, I'm just taking baths with her. So we don't have to worry about like an actual bathtub for her. So that's, oh, and then we have like sun hats and stuff like that in there. So just things that didn't fit in there. Okay, in the diaper bag, we're just bringing the small one. I'm actually using her big one for my carry-on, like my little backpack. So this is just a little car seat or nursing cover. I love this. It like basically is like a, a circle kind of thing. Then we also have just little items. Like I can put fresh fruit in there if she's hungry, but just fussy or something. I have a little, this is like one of those like non spill cups. She really likes that. So if I want to just give her water, I have her bath toy, which she's been really just into for playing with. I have her sound machine. We're only bringing the portable one because it's just smaller and it works really well. We have some more toys in here. We have diapers. I think I have to add more diapers in here. Uh, we have, what do we have? We have a little book in here in case I need to read to her on the plane. We have a change mat. We have uh, wipes over there. We have some medicine. I've never had to give her Tylenol yet, but I am bringing it just in case. Um, Benadryl as well because she's eating now and you know just in case she has a reaction to anything. Two outfits. My sister said don't just bring one. So we have just two comfortable onesies here that would be nice as an outfit but also pajamas if she falls asleep. Wishful thinking. I have a wet bag here in case we have anything that needs to go in there. A little bag. I don't know. A little storage bag just in case. I'm going to list all these items too in a downloadable for you guys on my blog post. You guys can have a little checklist for when you're packing. We got more snacks. Um, we have these little baby mumums. Um, she just started trying these. They're like little dissolvable baby crackers. Some teething medicine. Oh, I did want to put a dog poop bag in here too, just in case we have an explosion. So I am going to add that as well. So that is what is in there. Okay, so I'm going to pack all of this in our checked in luggage and back in the diaper bag and then sage will be good to go there's a couple other things like her stroller her high chair and her pack and play that we're bringing as well but we got travel friendly ones so i'll show you guys that later as well Now is time for all of my clothes. So I got my tops. I'm just bringing two pajamas. I got two pairs of tights, two shorts, some dresses and rompers, and a couple of like dressier pants. I got two pairs of shorts, a white pair, a denim one, and then a pair of jeans or kind of like crop jeans. Probably gonna bring a denim jacket. I got two sweaters, a cropped one and a knit one. Hairbrush, curler, bucket hat, and then I have all my toiletries in here let me show you guys i have my luminance travel set here i got their delicate cleanser rose water um this is their hydration moisturizer and i have their eye cream here i have a little sample of my pit refresh just so i don't have to bring the whole thing i have my cc cream underneath here i have uh, my vitamin c um serum another serum and this is one of my skin, I don't know if you can see. Anyways, it's like a oil cleanser. Here I have floss, Q-tips, um, little facial brush, liners. I have soap contacts. I love using these little like travel tubes. These are great. You can just fill them up with what you already have at home and they're reusable. So I have one for shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and a body oil. No, lotion and a body oil. I'm using this piece of soap that I cut uh, for our body wash. I have some samples of toothpaste and then I just have to pack my actual toothbrush. And that is everything in there. And then in this one, I love this little travel case. All right, then in this one, I have my makeup brushes. And then I have my makeup in here. I keep things pretty simple. If you guys want to know my everyday makeup look, check out my five minute mommy makeup look. I have a blog post in a video. So I got eyeshadow. This is my new favorite sunscreen. It's mattifying. It's awesome. I have some brow products, tweezers, clippers, um, mascara, brow stuff, 
uh, yeah, powders, all that. My Beauty Nut Skincare Lip Butter. I think I have one in like every bag packing with me, just so I always have one. This is great. I love it. Um, it fits quite a bit, even though I have it pretty minimal inside. I also have all of my like bras, underwear, socks, uh, bathing suits, my little like nipple covers here in this travel cube. I also have these two. I'm going to pack everything else in. I will link these. They're awesome. I'm going to link like my travel must-haves in a full blog post so you guys can check that out. Um, but I'm just going to fit all of that into these two travel cubes. I am also bringing my acupressure mat. I have a little travel case for this. I have a coupon code for you guys. I will link it in the blog post. This thing is amazing, hence why I'm traveling with it. It helps so much with like de-stressing, with anxiety, with sleep, like headaches, everything. And I love it and I don't leave home without it. So this thing is basically little spikes that you lay on and it just feels amazing. And anytime I lay on it, I just feel so relaxed. So I'm gonna take this with me. Comes with a little carrying case. I kid you not, I, I laid on this every single night of my pregnancy, like every night. This was part of my routine, I loved it. Okay, let's talk travel or carry on, I mean, I'm bringing most of my stuff in a carry-on. I have a couple of, I think two of my cubes are going in one of our checked bags, only because we're staying a little bit longer. Usually I just bring a uh, carry-on, but with Sage, we have to bring checked luggage anyways, and it comes with our tickets, so we're gonna use it. Okay, so I have my water bottle, which I'll fill up once I get past like the checkpoint. I have obviously my passport. Anyways, I also am bringing a quinoa salad that I bought at the health food store the other day. It's already cooked and I'm bringing two hard boiled eggs so I can eat them once we get to the airport. I'm all about the healthy fats and the protein because those are the hard ones to find, I find. Um, a wallet with my driver's license and important cards. I have my sunglasses, my regular seeing glasses. I did have an eye mask. It's not even, it's like an eye mask weight. I'm probably gonna put that in my checked bag. Like this is the one I'm gonna have with me uh, when I'm actually on the airplane. My other one I'll just put up top and stow it away. I got vitamins. I'm also bringing my other vitamins for the rest of the time we'll be there in my checked bag. Okay, I'm that person that brings like all the teas. I have lemon balm, chamomile lavender, rooibos, and my herbal coffee. I always bring my own teas. I have a uh, liner. I have some masks. And then actually in the middle here, I'll show you guys. It has to be organized a little bit. Another mask. So these are amazing. They're a little, it's funny because it's messy right now. Anyways, these are amazing. They're little organizers for your purse or your bags and stuff. And I just find it really nice to see where everything is. So in here I have my essential oils. I have Stress Away, Valor, Lavender, my nighttime one, uh, Tranquil. I have peppermint uh, for headaches and peace and calming, which is very relaxing, but also a nice like natural perfume. I have a little lock. Um, I have some gum. This one, Pure sent me this actually. It's show you, it's so cute. Look at, they're like gold packaging, so pretty. So I got some gum. I got some Kleenex, hair clip. Oh, thank you, this is my electronics, thanks babe. A uh, little hand cream baby wipes also just for me and oh I got floss Matt is the one that got me into like bringing floss with me everywhere so I'm just gonna put my passport here we have Sage's passport as well I gotta put in here and then in here I'm gonna have this like separate I just have like camera stuff so a little battery pack charger I have camera stuff in here and then I do have my airpods somewhere okay Anyways, that's what's in there. And then, oh, I also have some mints from Pure. I really like them because they're just aspartame free. And then I have some hand sanitizer and this uh, disinfectant spray so I can spray stuff in case I need to like change sage or anything. I have that. Okay, I'm gonna go find my AirPods, get everything back in here. 
and that's basically what I'm bringing. I'm trying to think. I have to figure out what I'm wearing to the actual airport, but I'm going to do a whole different vlog of us like traveling and stuff. So you'll get to see um, us like actually using these things. And if you actually want to see the outfits that I'm bringing with me, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I post every single day there on my stories and my feed and you'll see lots of sagey on there too. She's, she's always making her daily appearances. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. I'm sure like a couple of other things will find their way into here. I'm gonna go and finish packing. I'm gonna do a full blog post on the essentials you need with traveling with the baby, uh, specifically a like infant, so like six, seven month old, and all the things that we're bringing and just like tips and stuff because we just learned a lot. Like we are renting a car seat, which is so affordable. Um, we specifically bought this travel stroller, which I'm gonna put like a little thing here of us closing it and opening it. We are bringing a, a high chair that actually fits onto your uh, counters or table, which we already had. So we're bringing that and then we're, we bought a pack and play that's like a travel friendly one. So what's great is if you don't even have any of these things and you're like planning, um, you know, to buy this stuff or whatever, I would highly recommend grabbing travel friendly ones if you are looking to do traveling with your family. The stroller, like there's no way a travel stroller replaces your main stroller. So I will say they're two different things, but you can get different ones depending on your budget. The one we got was kind of expensive. I'm not going to lie, but like it just looked amazing and we've already tested it and it is amazing. So I'm just like, okay, like I think it'll be worth it. It seems pretty durable and I just think it'll grow with her up until she's probably three or four. When, when do kids stop using a stroller? When they can walk? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, um, and we can always like resell it after or something. So her <laughs> baby number two but like we're not there yet. So I'm also bringing the baby monitor and my breast pump. We're just still using those. So those will also go into our bags when we're done. Also, this is what I'm gonna wear to the airport. Super casual and neutral. I got a little crop zip sweater, white t-shirt, some green leggings, nursing bra, key, and some socks. And I'm just gonna wear my white Nikes and then a little crossbody purse so just super comfy and casual actually looks like when we're packing matt getting everything in hey matt uh -huh. <laughs> little explosion unlike the cute little video i shared earlier okay i'm gonna finish packing up thank you so much for watching guys i'm gonna have all the blog posts and links down for you in the info box so check that out give this video a thumbs up if you guys want to see more travel content as a new family and um, yeah, wish us luck. Oh, also I didn't even mention Cashew. So originally we were gonna drive there, but we still can't drive across the border. So we had to fly instead. So Cashew is actually staying with my sister. She's house sitting. So Cashew's routine is gonna stay the same and Chloe is basically her third parent. So I feel really good that she's here. I don't, I wouldn't feel comfortable if Cashew was like somewhere else that wasn't comfortable for her. So. She is going to be well loved, well taken care of. I'm going to miss her dearly because I've only been away from Sage or sorry. I've only been away from Cashew for like three days max when I had Sage. And so that's going to be really hard and I'm probably going to FaceTime her every day. Like she's like, she is our child. So it's really hard leaving her. But I know, like I said, her routine's not changing. Chloe already has like beach days planned and I think she's going to get her like a little puppy like pool thing for the backyard so she's gonna be spoiled uh with tia chloe so she'll be well taken care of but um i think that's gonna be it thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed this packing slash get ready with me <laughs> going to florida vlog and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys all right i gotta clean up this mess